We may have already contaminated Mars. The discovery of uh, water on Mars, I think, really does uh, argue strongly for the possibility of life on Mars, not just in the past, but today. Uh, Mars started out as a warm and watery planet, a lot like Earth. Uh, and it's totally possible that life might have started on Mars and come to Earth. There, you can't rule that possibility out. And if, there's, if there was water on Mars, we have to take that possibility seriously. If there still is water on Mars, we have to continue to take that seriously. In other words, there could still be life hanging out on the planet. Uh, we, we can go to all sorts of incredibly uh, nasty places on Earth, uh, incredibly dry, cold places, and we find bacteria and viruses. They're, they are alive. They, these things aren't growing very quickly, but they're there. So if life started on Mars, it could be eking out an existence, uh, maybe just under the surface, um, living off of this water that we're starting to see pictures of. And that's actually a problem if we want to go to Mars, because uh, if we're going to Mars to discover life, we'd better be sure that we're not contaminating Mars with all of our bacteria and viruses uh, because we could just ruin the place in terms of understanding the life that's there. Uh, and so it's really hard to sterilize a spaceship and everything on it, uh, including the astronauts. So um, th this whole issue of planetary protection, which NASA has a whole office for, is going to get a lot more serious, I think.